tropical paradise lost in the vastness of the Pacific Ocean. Life is peaceful on the atolls of tiny Tuvalu, but appearances are deceiving. At the marine school on Amatuku, a strict discipline governs the training of the seafarers of Tuvalu. The whole nation depends on these seafarers. The whole nation depends on only two German shipping companies. I learned German on board German ships. I worked on German ships from 1970 until 2000. I really like German ships because I travel around the world, see beautiful things. For 30 years, the seafarers of Tuvalu have been working exclusively on German ships. They are the only source of income for their families at home. They build Tuvalu's relative prosperity. And they have shouldered the expenses of the education of a full generation of children. But times are changing. Tuvalu is but one country, a very small country. And there are lots of other countries that want to, to, to have their, their citizens employed on board ships. So we can just take the Filipinos or the, the Romanians, they are very near. To Germany, yeah. We have heard from the BBC news about some of our brothers have been uh, taken by the pirates from Somalia. All of a sudden, the seafaring life has lost some of its appeal and people begin to have second thoughts about whether seafarer is a good career for Tuvaluans after all. <laughs> <laughs> 